is a story about a couple who moved from London to uh, the wilds of Ireland. He works in conservation and he has to assess the worth of a forest. And when he gets there, there's something in that forest that um, starts to come and uh, want to take this couple's baby. And uh, the locals would have you believe that that's related to some sort of fairy folklore called the Hallow. Okay, and um, where did the idea, where did it originate? Where did you come up with it? It originated from a childhood love of, of fairy tales. And um, I, I love a lot of um, different styles of uh, horror and fantasy, but I also, uh, inspired by films like Alien and Exorcist and The Thing, uh, when they bring like horror into the real world. And I thought, you know, I want to do a creature movie that um, is based in fairy folklore, but it's not a, a fantastical kind of magic movie for kids. It's something that, you know, we uh, a slightly older audience can um, get a thrill out of. Um, you mentioned The Thing. I mean, I know you're really into practical effects. Was that very important to you on this film to bring it into practical? Absolutely. It was really important to bring practical effects into the film because, um, A, we had a, a, you know, we were a low-budget independent horror movie and uh, I did really want to, uh, you know, build in these creatures and eventually reveal them enough. And, on a, uh, you know, these days there's a lot of CG. It has to be so good to be... You know, truly convincing. If you if it isn't, you lose any kind of emotional attachment or fear of it. So I actually believe if you can create something real and shoot and light it and edit it in a certain way, it's still you have more of a connection and you can therefore be more frightened of it. And then so we did a lot of we involved a lot of visual effects as well. But um, everything you kind of see is was created and was act, uh, puppeted or acted or you know was real. Okay, uh, one last question. This is one of the most hyped films of the festival. Why do you think it's already got so much behind it without us having seen too much? Because you're keeping it quite under wraps, rightly so. Yeah, that's, good, that's good to know. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, I'm just very pleased to hear that people uh, have heard about it because when you're someone who just aspires to tell stories and make films, you want people to see them. And I wanted to make a film that an audience can come to and, and, and buy some popcorn and uh, get a thrill out of for one and a half hours at the very least so you want people to see it so um, uh, it, I'm, I'm very proud I got into Sundance and it was uh, premiered in Sundance and then it's been shown at festivals around the world and I was really keen on it shown in London at Fright Fest because it's the home audience and I got my family here and uh, you know so I love horror movies and this is the place to show them so super excited to see it thank you so much for talking to us good luck <laughs>